We've got some breaking news now. Donald Trump posting on social media about this ruling about IVF in Alabama, but what he's saying may surprise you. I want to bring in NBC's Vaughn Hilliard, who is in South Carolina. What exactly is the former president saying? Hey, Chris, I want us to read the entirety of this post here because I think it's important in the context that just last night, Donald Trump on a stage, campaign stage, celebrated the fact that he nominated three of the Supreme Court justices to the bench. He has made it very clear that he supported the overturning of Roe v. Wade, celebrated that he was responsible for it. And Donald Trump has also not been clear on whether he'd support a federal abortion ban or not, or exactly what policy in even at the state level he would support. And so that's where questions were around his position on IVF, especially on the back of the Alabama Supreme Court's decision. I want to let you look at this statement that just came out in the last few moments, in which he writes in part, quote, under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. Like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans, I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. Today, I'm calling on the Alabama legislature to act quickly to find an immediate solution to preserve the availability of IVF in Alabama. The Republican Party should always be on the side of miracle of life. In the side of mothers, fathers, and their beautiful babies, IVF is an important part of that, and our great Republican Party will always be with you in your quest for the ultimate joy in life. Of course, Chris, the Alabama Supreme Court's decision on IVF embryos is a consequence of the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. But now the question is, at the state level, will Republican legislatures, like in Alabama, at the urging of Donald Trump and others, go and seek to pass that sort of legislation uh, protecting IVF. That is the outstanding question. But Donald Trump, you're just an hour before he takes the stage in South Carolina ahead of tomorrow's primary, making it clear where at least he stands on IVF and the protection of the ability for women and families to go through that process. This is fascinating because, of course, both the Senate president and the House speaker there are Republicans. We shall see what happens. Vaughn Hilliard, thank you for that.